kids, and welcome to The Lab Online. My name is Andrew, and I'm so excited that you've joined us today. It's a brand new month, so we have a brand new theme and a brand new verse. So why don't we start off by learning today's verse together. Say it with me. Then I heard the voice of the Lord. He said, who will I send? Who will go for us? I said, here I am, send me. Isaiah 6.8. In this verse, we hear the prophet Isaiah from the Bible talking to God, and God asks Isaiah, who will go and share his message? And how did Isaiah respond? It's right there in the verse. He says, here I am, send me. This month, we're talking all about being God's messengers. And can I say, God's message is the best message that we could ever share, because following Jesus is the best decision anyone can ever make. And I'm so grateful that he loves me all the time, no matter what. There's just nothing that I could possibly give my life to and share with others that could be better. But sometimes I wonder, what makes a good messenger? And is it really me? Am I really a good messenger? I think about really awesome people like pastors who can talk to whole like stadiums of people. And then there's me who sometimes forget which is my right hand and which is my left hand. And there are other people who've gone for years and years who have their PhD, a whole doctorate in the Bible. They know so much and I mean, I know some, but I don't know that much. Well, I'm not gonna lie and say, I don't feel like that sometimes. But you know what? I know at the Lab Kids, we love to go to the Bible every single week because we know that it's God's word for us. So why don't we check out a Bible story together and see what we can learn about what kind of person makes a great messenger for Jesus. Check it out. When you read the Bible, there's a guy that really stands out, a man named Paul. Paul was a missionary who wrote the books of Romans, Galatians, and many others in the Bible. But what's really incredible is Paul's story before he became a follower of Jesus. He was a very different person. His name wasn't even Paul. It was Saul, and he hated anyone who followed Jesus. Saul tried to do what was right by following the old laws, but he believed anyone who followed Jesus was wrong so he chased down Christians and captured them. One day, Saul was given permission to go to a town called Damascus and arrest any followers of Jesus that he found there. But an incredible event happened on the road to Damascus. As Saul got closer to the city, a bright light shone from heaven, blinding him. He dropped to the ground and heard a loud voice coming from the sky. Saul, Saul, why are you out to get me? Who are you? I am Jesus, the one you think is wrong. Get up and go to the city. Then you will be told what you need to do next. Saul got up from the ground, but he was blind. He couldn't see anything. He was led to Damascus by his men, but for three full days, he was blind and didn't eat or drink anything. Now in that city, there was a man who followed Jesus. His name was Ananias. He also heard the voice of Jesus. Ananias, go to the house where Saul is. Place your hands on him so he will be able to see again. Ananias was scared because he knew Saul had a bad reputation. He knew Saul hated Christians like him, but the Lord said, Go, Saul is the man I have chosen to share my good news. So Ananias went to the house where Saul was staying. He put his hands on him and prayed for God to restore Saul's sight. Immediately, Saul could see again. He quickly chose to follow Jesus, got baptized, and regained his strength with some food. Saul stayed in that city and began to share God's good news with everyone. People knew he was the man who used to hate God and Christians, but they saw that now he was different. God had transformed him. He was no longer the Saul that didn't believe in Jesus. Now he was Paul, who spent the rest of his life serving God. Wow, what a cool story. It doesn't seem like Saul would maybe be the best choice for a messenger for Jesus. As a matter of fact, he had been going around and really hurting people who followed Jesus. He didn't even believe Jesus was who he said he was at all. But God still chose him, and God used him to share the message of Jesus to a lot of people. If God can use someone like that, maybe he can use me after all. 
And you know what the big difference between Saul before, who was persecuting the Christians, and Paul, who told so many people about Jesus? It was just him meeting Jesus. And I know that I can do that, and that each and every one of us can do that too. All we need to do in order to be able to share God's message is to have Jesus equip us. We can't do it on our own, but we can do it with God. Jesus wants to know you. Jesus loves you so much. And when we ask him to come into our lives, we get to experience his love in a whole new way, and it changes us. When we know him, that's all we need to know to be able to share his message. Here's what I want you to do. Take a few minutes today and just pray that you would know Jesus more and that he would help you be a messenger and share more about who he is with the people around you who don't know him yet. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much that we can be your messengers, even when we don't feel like we can do it. We don't feel like we're good enough, God. We know that you equip us, you make us ready for what you have planned for us, God. So help us to trust in that, God. Help us to trust in you each and every day. In your name I pray, amen. Well, thanks for joining me online. We look forward to seeing you again next week here online or in the person at one of our campuses. Bye.